Omni Bros live with the Omni Bros, me and Gio. Yeah. How's it going? That's all you need, baby. That's doing right. Fine, doing great, doing wonderful. Happy to be here. Happy to be talking with you, Jess, and everybody at home. Right uh, on, Whether man. it's live or recorded or uh, later on, I'm just happy that all of you are enjoying Omni Bros Live on the Omnibus Collectors Network. Couldn't set it better myself, buddy. Um, we uh, let's see. I just got a YouTube notification. Oh, we're on. All right. Nice. So that works. Notifications work. Um, so tonight we're doing hauls, previews, and reads. Mm -hmm. And Gio, you have informed me that you have a ton of hauls to uh, show us. So that's good. Yeah, finally. And I have I have a small haul, but it's still a good haul. And I've been doing some reading myself. And uh, let's get started with our sponsor. Mm -hmm. That would be in stocktrades.com, the fabulous IST, where you can get your collected editions up to 50% off. Loyalty discounts add 2% to that. Every quarter, there's an Omni Bros Live discount code. If you live in the United States, you get free shipping. If you make an order of $50 or more, that's amazing. And let's see, the fabulous customer service and the fabulous packaging that's in stocktrades.com. Nicely done. Thank you. Uh, any idea when the Namer Omnibus will be available on IST? Uh, um, I don't know that. That might be a question for Omar if he shows up. Yeah, he did a video on it, so it shouldn't be long before it shows up on IST. Yeah, I don't well uh you know what? I can I bet I can answer that. Let me go uh, to, wait or you want to go to we could go to Amazon and look that up. I can look that up. Yeah, go to Amazon and subtract 2 weeks or something. Oh, yeah, what are you looking up? I can waiting. look up the exact date. <clears throat> uh when Namer Omnibus is going to be released. October 15th on Amazon. Okay, so that's what October first for for IST. IST. And, yeah, look at that. Let's put that question up because we answered it. Yay! Ooh. We answered the question. October first, Alexander. There you go, Gabe. I am so sorry you came in and I totally ignored the fact that you were there and I just kept talking. How are you, buddy? What up, son? <laughs> I'm doing good. Are you feeling better? Uh, I'm kind of Nyquil hungover right now. <laughs> Like October, October, uh, excuse me, October second is the release date for Namor, so it'll be on on IST the first of October. Mm. So we're getting okay. close to having a Namor omnibus before we have other quote unquote more important omnibuses. Yep. Interesting how this stuff works sometimes. But yeah, I took a bunch of Nyquil and uh, I had uh, some trippy dreams. So that's what I've been up to today. Hi Wyatt, thanks for saying hi. I Yo, appreciate it. And I'm okay. working on our uh, finishing up our uh, uh, IST uh, Instagram images for the deals this week. That's awesome. right. Good word. <laughs> Some good stuff. So everybody who's watching tonight, thanks for showing up. Uh, we'll be talking about the IST, which what's being released this week, and uh, some of the in-stock trades prices. So stay tuned. If this is your first time around. If it's your first time around. Make sure you subscribe. We're getting very, very close to that 3,000 mark. Hit that little bell as a reminder so you, you know when we get our next videos up. Mm -hmm. And uh, also talk about getting really close to a little landmark uh, number, our Instagram. Wow. Omni Bros Live. Uh, we are getting pretty close to that 1,000 mark. So Ooh, nice. up on there. You're the best. Thank you. And I've already that. gotten two compliments on my shirt, so... Thank you, everybody. I appreciate that. Oh, that's an awesome shirt. I didn't even notice. I'm so sorry. That's oh, awesome. dude, the, the DM cover for that Namor thing is crazy. For the, the, the Namor omnibus? Yeah. Oh, man. I'm going to have a hard time picking which one I want. Anything special for 3,000 subscribers, perhaps? Nope. Yes, we're going to have a live show that night. 
<laughs> exactly. Well, that depends. If it's like on a on a on a Wednesday, probably not. <laughs> You'll um, get like three thousand hugs from us. How about that? Uh, ETL says I can't wait for Jess and sweater season. <laughs> I got a bitchin' uh, hoodie that I can't wait to wear. A new hoodie. It's not comic related, but it's still boss. Awesome. Um, let's see. We can do hauls, we can do previews, or we can do reads. What uh, is your pleasure? Uh, I'm good with whatever you guys want to do. Let's do hauls first. Would you, would you get Jess? What I got? Mm -hmm. I got. Let's see, should I highlight myself? <laughs> the highlighter <laughs> says nice shirt, <laughs> Magnum. That's right. Um, let's see. I got. Halls, halls, halls. Okay, I got Mr. and Mrs. X, Volume 2, Gambit and Rogue Forever. No, you can't wear Cosby sweaters. Uh, Wildstorm spinoff, Michael Cray, Volume 1 and 2. The Fabulous Ms. Marvel, Volume 5, I think. Volume 5. Nice. She's going to be famous. She is mm -hmm. going to be famous. Uh, the Neil Gaiman book, Snow Glass Apples. Hey, just real quick. I'm sorry. Can you just show the art in there. The art in that thing oh. is out of control. It's by Colleen Doran, who is a super nice woman. Whoa. You're right. Wow. Yeah, the art's beautiful in that thing. And I think the idea here is that the queen is... is uh, uh. Going on. Yeah. Something's going on with my mic. Uh, the queen is the good one, and I think the daughter is the evil one. I think. I'm not sure. I think I haven't read it. Uh, Omar, I know Omar's wife reviewed it. I think this is more or less the real story of Snow White, not the Disney version. Uh, okay. Interesting. For anybody who is. You know, unknown and as don't even know of the Disney versions of these stories. Let's see. The here's real the, versions are jacked up, like super out of control. A up not up. so evil queen is terrified of her monstrous stepdaughter and determined to repel this creature and save her kingdom from a world where happy endings aren't so happily ever after. That's what the description is on the back. Then uh, I can't remember who prompted me. Somebody prompted me. To get this, because it's by William Gibson, the um, author of Neuromancer, Alien 3. This was his script for Alien 3, and it didn't get made, didn't get made, but it got turned into a comic book. I think maybe that was when you did the isolation. Was it isolation? The alien book that you guys reviewed last month or the other month? I don't know. And I think somebody in the chat suggested that you read that book. Oh, okay. I feel like, oh, here he is right on time. Yep. Um, it's eight o'clock. Yeah. yeah sure. In Peru it is. Yeah. Are we live yet? So I can talk behind you alls. Yeah. Don't, we're live Don't worry. We've already been talking about you. Here, why, is it, why are you even in the picture? I'm showing my books. <laughs> Ass hat. Ooh. And this is, uh, so this is um, the original screenplay for Alien 3 by William Gibson turned into comic book form. Nice. Oh. And. Is it better than the movie? It's, yeah, I bet it is because it's by William Gibson, man. Oh, Neuromancer. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. And an epic X-Men, Lonely Are the Hunted. Volume Very two. nice. You don't have the Silver Age stuff then, the Omnis then. I do not have X Men One Omni. It's coming. Well, I mean, the Epic is right. That's what you're going to pick up. The Epic. Yeah, that's what I'm going to pick up. I'm going to pick up the Epic Number One. You cool. have the Epic Number One, Jess, unless you sold it. Oh, I already got it. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I found it for you out here in Vegas. That's mm -hmm. right. That sounds like Jess. Also, hey Omar, uh, that. Uh, glass apple that Snow White book is that 
since none of us really, none of us watch your channel. Okay, your thanks. Wife it. Is that thanks, the, assholes. The real. <laughs> <laughs> is that the is that the real story of Snow White, like the the actual original jacked up version? Is that what it's supposed to be? Smoke mirror. Can you guys hear me? What was? Yeah, mm-hmm. that, yeah. That was weird. Um, it was in the book Smoke and Mirrors, and they adapted it. So it's like it's a take on his on Snow White. It's really it's gorgeous. Are you all familiar with Colleen Doran? Like her artwork, she did some stuff in mm-hmm. Sandman, and then she did some stuff in like. Well, she's in a, a distant soil. That's what she's known for. Yeah, I I hauled it and I showed art from it, and I said it was kind of turned around. The uh, not so evil queen was worried about her evil stepdaughter, and right, mm-hmm. it sounded like a different take on the tale. It's it's a fast read. It's a really pretty book, though. You could always just go get a uh, Alan Moore's Lost Girls for some really good uh, Snow White, Sleeping Beauty storylines no okay yeah. uh anybody here read lost girls i've read it i just don't agree i'm I, not gonna recommend that to anybody no yeah. not at all. it's, I a, read it's an odd book too. you yeah. still sick gabe a little bit i've had i've had ramen i went to ramen restaurants like for the last three days not a bad thing i'm not complaining but you know I'm a is that why you got you sick that what got me sick. No, I, I when I'm sick, I just eat all the soups and spicy Mexican food and everything else I can. I just kind of sweat it all out, and I put myself in nightclub comas. Mm. I did that today while watching Invader Zim. I probably saw like ten minutes <laughs> of it before I passed out. I can't take nightclub because it's like <laughs> eighty proof. Is it eighty proof? Model. No wonder that stuff gets me jacked up. Oh yeah, it's like all alcohol. Uh, Mighty Tangy, I've read a study in Emerald. It is good. I really like it. Yeah, my wife likes that too. Uh, Gio, what'd you haul? I have. I, I, I got a lot of books, and I want to give a thanks, a uh, big shout out to our sponsor in Stock Trades for providing me uh, review copies. For the very first time on this channel, I'm actually going to review something with the rest of you nerds. Uh, so, yeah, here's a. Uh, Green Lantern, Murder Falcon, which was my suggestion, by the way. Thank you. And uh, <laughs> Thanos from Donny Cates. And um, I got some manga because I love manga. Here's uh, Dr. Stone, Volume 4, 5, and 6. Uh, damn it. What else? Oh, this awesome looking dude. I, I think you guys know him. Aquaman from Kelly Sue DeConnick, Volume 1. Send that to Luis. This- yeah, <laughs> this big ass manga, uh, Berserk Deluxe Edition Volume Two. Yeah, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Volume. What is this? Volume Nine. Nine. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that's about it. I also got some non-comic book stuff, which I will not talk about on today's oh, episode. I forgot to talk about my non-comic book stuff. What? What was it? Legion Ooh. of Superheroes <laughs> action figures, man. You freaking nice. nerd. Uh, <laughs> Did you get Pharaoh, lad? Uh, I won him today in a bid. I, I, I okay. First of all, I can't believe wait, wait, a, bid a other bidding people... war between yeah. Pharaoh, lad. And I was the only else? bidder. Oh, okay. I was <laughs> the only bidder. I won him oh, for there's twenty somebody bucks. Somebody else wasn't Pharaoh, lad. No, just me, <laughs> Lightning, lad. It's nice. just bidding against himself. Um, <laughs> Cosmic the boy and. Saturn Girl. Yeah. Awesome. And a box of hooks so I can hang them all. There we go. Extreme nerdiness. Thank you. Are you going to open them? Or are you going to keep no, them? I'm going to hang them. I'm going to hang them. Nice. Because that packaging is amazing. I love I it. I know. I think so too. You're right. I don't ever want to hear you say anything about BotCon. Ever again. <laughs> Action figures are completely different than. <laughs> oh Bot-Con. yeah, they're a lot cooler than Transformers. Okay, buddy. Hey, Botcon lives forever, dude. <laughs> and it's it's no more. It it's lives gone. forever in Omarology, though. <laughs> uh, these are old DC Direct figures. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. 
I don't see the word Kenner on here though. I think that these are DC Direct figures. Yeah, they're they're old. They're they're like ten or twelve years old, I think. Something like that. That they're sounds about right. Uh, Gabe, are you talking to us? I am talking to you. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I was saying those DC Direct uh, figures. Some of them were pretty pricey, like the New Gods. Mm-hmm. New Gods ones are kind of hard to find. They're a little pricey, and I'm sure the Legion ones were like fifty cents. <laughs> I know the Kingdom Heart or Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Come ones were hard to get too. Yeah, yeah. Kingdom Come, and they also did uh, New Frontier. They look pretty cool too. I've got a couple of new frontiers and a couple of kingdom come figures and yeah those kingdom come figures can get pricey i used to have them all and then i went to japan and i had to sell some toys to make room for more toys eh, yeah, it's okay Booby it's figures. necessary action to take buying toys for yeah toys. that's what i did man got rid of all my marvel legends i used to have all the big build of figures they were pretty cool did you have- those things were huge in the old days, huh? Yeah, I had Apocalypse, Onslaught, Mojo, yeah, all the Ant Man, Giant Man. Sorry, Sentinel. Sentinel was awesome. I love that Sentinel. That was hard to get rid of. I mean, that, wasn't that the first build a figure? Uh, Gal- I wanted to say Galactus was. Okay. Maybe I Sentinel really- was the second one. Because by the time really I started to. doing the build a figures, is when I yeah. stopped collecting the Marvel Legends stuff. So. Yeah. They weren't the greatest, but I think they've come a long way. Some of those are still pricey. Like that Deadpool and Dupe one is still pricey. Yeah. I think yeah. Silver Surfer and uh, Howard the Duck is still pricey. I only collected the X-Men ones. so. But yeah, I got rid of them all. And it's so hard when I look at new solicitations of new ones, too. I want to come back. Like I saw the Alpha Flight box set. And I was Bad. like, ah. Alpha Flight, yeah. I'm, I'm good with that. Yeah, I saw the Alpha Flight, and I said, ugh. (laughs) (laughs) North Star has more of a following than Pharaoh Lad. (coughs) North Star. He has his own website. (laughs) (laughs) Did he give his life to save the world? No. Twice. He got married. Twice. He got married. And I'm pretty sure he got killed during that Wolverine really shitty run on enemy of the state Mark Miller killed him Gabe what did you get this week besides sick uh yeah so let me see I got not not a lot not like you guys but I did get something pretty freaking cool I got the Uh, yeah uh, oversized hardcover I got this from uh John C I don't I'm not gonna go over give out his full government name online like this but I got this from a (laughs) member on the group who uh, made me a good deal, packed this thing up like a champ, got it here super quick. It was media mail, but it got here in like three days. It was sitting in my in my mailbox for like three days because I don't ever check my mail. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, this is a this is one of my favorite uh, X Men storylines, and I can't believe I, I passed on for so long and it went out of print. And I had to uh, I had to finally find it and uh, add this to my '90s X Men collection. And what's also really cool is uh, Torpedo Comics in uh, Orange County is going to have Rob Liefeld doing a signing on Wednesday. So I'm going to send this down there to get signed along with my uh, X-Force omnibus. Nice. So about to get this bad boy signed up by the legend Rob Liefeld. So that's going to be super cool. Uh, so I got that. That's really it for like collected editions. And like anybody who is not a complete idiot i'm getting all the powers of x house of x stuff too so i got powers of x number three as well this is uh still rocking along if you're not picking this stuff up everybody you are so missing the boat on some of the best current x-men stuff that's there ever been x-men has been this good and this popular and this much of a uh, current event topic in probably like 10 to 15 years this stuff is great so I made the mistake of looking up what some of those variants are worth, and because I was I give them away on my show, mm-hmm. I shouldn't have done that. 
<laughs> well, I, I think it's good that you're doing it, Omar, because that's, that's kind of a fun thing for, for your channel and for your subscribers. Yeah, it, it's really cool, and it's really nice of Marvel, but I, I made the mistake. I, and I wasn't even meaning to look at him. I, I was looking at something. Like, I wanted a Scotty Young cover of something, and then the Powers of X and House of X experience showed up, and I'm like, hey, I gave those. Motherfucker, I gave those away. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I didn't know how ridiculous these things got, because I'm not into the variant game. Dude, hit me up because I am the one that priced up the variants for uh, for torpedo. For torpedo, yeah. I have to, well, I'm the one I have to look them up and all that stuff. I'm, I'm giving them away, so it doesn't really help me. But well, hey, if you don't want to give them away and you want to flip them, you know, I want to flip you guys. That's That's exactly what's going to happen. They're going to find my damn eBay auction at near me condition. <laughs> going to be like, wait a minute, that can't be the same guy. It totally is. Put them on my eBay page. I'll send you the money. Quit. Tempting me. <laughs> what? Uh, how about you, uh, Omar? What did you haul this week? Well, I rearranged some stuff down here, and you don't have to highlight me because I don't. I can't find my shit. Okay. Goodbye. Good job coming prepared. <laughs> late. I, didn't I was come playing late Pokemon with my daughters and lost track of time because oh, that's how much fun we had. That's awesome. Uh, I got a pile somewhere. Fuck. Uh, well. Well, go off camera for two minutes. You were eight minutes late. Another two minutes isn't going to hurt. You want to call me out on a live episode? Rub it in. I always do. All right. Oh, Omar, speaking of variants real quick, if I was you, if you get those connecting covers, do you see those connecting covers got, that got released earlier today, I think it was? Mm -hmm. It's a Mark Bagley. It's like six oh, covers that that's make the this huge image. With all that's of for them. the new series. Yeah, yeah they look awesome. If you get those, if Marvel hooks you up with those, I would save them and just give them all give them all away at once, like to one lucky person, or do something special with that because those things are cool. Um, oh yeah, that's not a bad idea. Well, that's what they're you know I'm, I'm saving like whoever wins because we're giving a couple of winners every week, and then I'm saving them as they come as Marvel sends me some. I'm I'm, right. I'm sending them a stack of whatever they end up sending me. Yeah, I would, or, I would save the connecting covers and just give that as one big prize to somebody. Or, that would be really cool. But they're can, not in control of what they get. Go ahead. You can give each, each each of them away to somebody else and let them fight it out to see if they can reconnect <laughs> the covers. Or or become friends. Right? Yeah. yeah. Give it to them in a steel cage. Exactly. Let them fight it out. Yep. That's exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> Just break a, a pool stick in half and throw them on the floor and like get at it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's the halls, except for Omar. Hey, uh, I got stuff. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I can't remember what I hold. You got a problem. Reads, reads. Sure. Did you I read anything or did you forget where that is? It's so wild. Give me a reason to highlight you, Grandpa. Uh, well, I don't have them with me, but I read stuff. <laughs> okay, do you remember what it was? Yes, I read. I reread blankets because we're doing that tomorrow. I know you all have all read that and love it. Speak highly of it. Uh, Dude, I love blankets. That's man. I think that's like the first comic book I ever cried reading. Oh, while reading, that was, that's an amazing book. Yeah. Uh, the, the last fall. Anything Craig Thompson does, immediate fire. I Did you read um what is it? Was it Habibi? Did yeah, you, that was great too. Read that. I own it. I just haven't read it. I have it. Yeah, I read it. It's great. Uh, the last call. Those books are they're, 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 they're huge books. They're super thick. All of, not all of his books, but by uh, Bible <laughs> blankets and Habibi are really thick. The hardcovers is this really fat hardcover, mm -hmm. but they're quick reads because well, not really quick because I spend a lot of time looking at the guy's art. The guy's art's amazing. But they're always been for me. All of his books have always been one sitting reads. Like I'll read it all in one sitting. I'm just enamored by that guy's art and his words and his storytelling. This stuff is great. I feel like Trump sniffling so much right now. Uh, what else did you read? Go do cut of me going there was a IDW book called The Last Fall, which is really solid. I really like that. Mm. Um, it's about two planets that are fighting, but it's more about the loss of war. Kind of reminds me of uh, what's his name's movie? It's uh, 
the guy that did the Tree of Life and uh, oh, it was Terrence uh, Terrence Malick. Anybody? Yeah. Uh, no, 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 nope. no, nobody. Okay, sorry. Uh, well, he's a very artsy director, but that's kind of what it reminded me of. And Powers and House of X three. House of yeah, House of X three, and then Powers of X ten three, which is phenomenal. Like Gabe said, yeah, that stuff is rocking. I, I think everybody's missing out. If you're not picking it up, if you don't make like a pull list at a local store to get that book or you order from DCBS or whatever, you're missing out. It's, it's great I, stuff. Have you guys read Northlanders? I have it, but I haven't read it yet. You have them? Okay. Because uh, I read that uh, Black Road book, The Holy North. Yeah. The hardcover. It's freaking awesome. And that character appears in Northlanders. So I was wondering if, like, when Northlanders takes place. I assume before this, because he's mm. kind of a, he's more of a pacifist than Black Road. Well, yeah, that's that's all I read. Okay. What about you guys? How about you, Gio? What'd you read? Well, uh, I re I started reading this for a video I'm gonna make. Yay! The, uh, what a great book. book. It started out pretty cool. I'm liking it. I'm, I'm not 100% on board with the art. I got to be completely honest. It's not necessarily something I'd, I'd love, but it's a fun story. I, 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 I like it. And I'm continuing Spirit Circle with Volume 2 here. And this is uh, took me off guard. This is really good. I, I recommend it. If you saw last week's episode, I talked about it. It's basically about reincarnation and uh, past lives and all that stuff. It's, it's pretty interesting. And uh, I read. Uh, any of you reading? No one, no one left to fight from Dark Horse. Uh, it's supposed to be like a <laughs> a shonen esque comic book. Uh, I thought I was gonna love it, but I'm hating it so much. <laughs> I'll say you hate it. Bear. I normally do not hate on anything because no, you don't. You know, You're like Jess. <laughs> yeah, I'm a firm believer that if you hate something, that negative vibe is going to affect you in some way. So I try and not hate things. Um, so, but that book, um, I mean, it, the description says that it's for fans of Dragon Ball and all that stuff. And when you read it, it's supposed to be like this clever comic book version of Dragon Ball and, and Battle Shonen. But it just comes off as a poorly made imitation and i would just rather it, it literally made me go want to read dragon ball instead of reading uh no one left to fight uh, basically it's about this super powered uh goku character he even has the pink reddish hair like he does in dragon ball super uh he has fought his final battle he defeated every single villain so the story starts after all of that and i think the only redeeming quality is that i think he's a hero with some type of PTSD or something, and he's trying to do visit like the site of his last battle with his friends and all that stuff. So after you defeat your foe, what happens next? And that concept is what I wanted to check out from this book. I think it's like only like five issues, but man, uh, the, uh, his rival, uh, his friend rival, is straight up Vegeta with blue hair. Um, it's just, uh, it's really dorky. I, I don't know. I, 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 I wanted to love it. I'm like, eh, about it. So you it's like It's basically it. like, imagine um, you're reading, uh, I don't know, whatever superhero you like, and the story begins after X superhero finally defeated every single uh, villain. And uh, I would much rather read about how he defeated the villains instead of the stuff that comes after. I don't know. We'll see. Hmm, Geo negative on a book. <clears throat> Gabe, did you get a chance to read anything this week? Yeah, yeah. I've been uh I took a day off of work, so I had a lot of extra time to read, and I got through I'm getting into the Hickman Fantastic Four. Nice. Uh, I'm about halfway through, a little more than half. Actually, I'm a pretty decent chunk into this book. Uh if anybody hasn't read this before, this is this is some fantastic no pun intended, uh, work from Jonathan Hickman on this run. 
He is great at getting both the explorer, the supernatural or superhero stuff, the explorer stuff, and the family stuff all rolled into one. There's lots and lots of great stuff. Not much I can really say because there's a lot of spoilers in this book with a lot of kind of time jumping, uh, time traveling heroes and, and things like that. But that's what I've been reading. And I'm almost done. So I'm going to get through this and hopefully move on to uh, the second omnibus pretty soon. Uh, so that's what I've been reading, and like I said earlier, Hickman's uh, X Men stuff as well. So nice. That's been my thing. I've been reading <clears throat> Warren Ellis's Wildstorm, Volume One, Two, and Three. This is awesome. I want to just show the art because it's amazing. The writing's amazing. It's a complete, complete reboot of. The authority and the authority hasn't really shown up yet, um, but the artwork is rocking by John Davis Hunt, and it is really good. And I'm, it's an ongoing series, which is great. I was afraid it had been canceled, but it's an ongoing series, and I'm digging it a lot. So if uh, you dig the authority. You'll dig these books. And a spinoff from that is the books, from a character from it, Michael Cray, who was had some name, Wild Beef, Thunderbomb. What was his name? Battalion? Uh, Death Blow. Death Blow. Yeah, from the old, some old. What did you call him? Wild Beef? Know. I don't know what his old name was in the <laughs> Wildstorm 90s or something. You sound like it, an old man describing a rapper. His name is something like Wild <laughs> Beef. <laughs> <laughs> something I, crazy like that. Yeah. Well, he's great. This these this spinoff is really good. Uh, I'm going to do a video on these books um, as soon as I finish another uh, Authority spinoff. Or uh, I'm going to do Ed Brubaker's Authority book. And um, so, yeah, I highly recommend all those books, Michael Cray and um, Wildstorm. I do want to check those out now. Damn they it. are really, really good. I dig it. I really hope they release a hardcover of that because that's the way I want to collect them. They look awesome. Well, uh, Wildstorm? Mm hmm Yeah. Uh, I did read another book I forgot and this one I can show because I, I had to do a video on it and I know everyone here has read this right the Thanos Rising book. nope what, did you finally read? Read one? I haven't uh, so this is the new Marvel select line from Marvel and the funny thing is this, this thing has been released in all kinds of ways uh, have you read this Gabe yeah I've read it yeah it's great so you're a big you're a big startling guy right how did you feel about the the retcons I don't mind it. I, I don't mind the idea of him being like his mom immediately knowing. I don't want to get into spoilers, but his mom immediately knowing what, what's going on with him at the moment he was born and mm -hmm. him being a kid and being brought up. It's Jason Aaron. And to me, I don't think Jason Aaron can do much wrong in the Marvel Universe because the Marvel Universe is just so fluid as it is already. And Thanos' character has always been a big mystery up until like up until this point. You really didn't know much about him. So any kind of changes or tweaks or retcons, I, I think, really added more to Thanos' character than it did to kind hey, of, like, ruin him or mess it up. There are a few things that Starlin had said in his runs that, you know, kind of set up, like, how, you know, his planet, what happened to his planet, what happened to his parents and stuff like that. That, that stuff doesn't really bother me. I, one thing that did bother me in this read-through, though, and I've forgotten about this, was... Uh, the reveal at the end of who this character was that kind of helped guide him. I think that's the one right. thing that I was like, mm, I don't know how I feel about that. But it's Simone Bianchi. Oh, his, his artwork. Have you read this, Jess? No, I have not. Oh, oh the artwork. If, artwork is if, if you haven't read this, you would love this. This is a retelling of uh, Thanos' origin. So, how about it, Jess? What's it called? Please. It's Thanos right or Thanos <laughs> writing. <laughs> Thing However, of, you want rising, rising. It's not a drink. Uh, and I, I, I've always liked what's his face, uh, Simone Bianchi. His artwork is awesome, and I think it really suits the book too. Huh? Okay. Sorry. 
And then um, tell me about Marvel's new select line. What is that? Well, Jess, it's a it, it's like a bunch of editors pick the best of the best stories, right? And is that that's a big oversized hardcover? No, it's my head is not that large. It's the size of a trade. Oh, <laughs> it looked giant. <laughs> it's a uh, it's the size of a standard um, like a standard size hardcover. It doesn't have a dust jacket. <laughs> I thought it was like Marvel size. Sorry, it's not that big. <laughs> Is it the angle like that? Yeah, it looks like really big. Yeah, it does look big. Uh, I was highlighting. There we go. Quick question works. though: small. Would you recommend getting that version or getting the trade paperback that came out a while ago? Which is cheaper? I don't know. Do you want to? This is more for people that are trying to get into comic books. That's what this line is. Like, if you have a friend that's like just watched Endgame or Infinity Wars and like, man, I'd love to find out more about Thanos. Well, happy birthday to you. <laughs> so cool. that's that's what these are. There's a there's okay. gonna be a total of twenty two of these. Like, mm -hmm. so they chose the best stories out of each character. I gave a list on my channel, but uh for example, like X-Men got Astonishing X-Men gifted, which is the first six issues. Huh. X-Men, uh, Astonishing X-Men. Um so it must have been a hard task to do for editors to sit there and be like, "Okay, what's the story for Thor? What's the story for Captain America?" What's the story for Darkhawk? Uh Darkhawk uh 1 through 7. Is the best story for Darkhawk introducing us to the character. Jess hated Darkhawk so much story. that you sold your fucking set. There is no, no shut up. You the best <laughs> is zero through zero for Darkhawk. <laughs> Such a hater. Dude. Dark Hawk question. Was awesome. That's it. Yeah. Dude. I was so hurt. I thought that the, sales book. That was the best story. In Black What's that? What'd you say, Gabe? Sorry. No. I'm actually trying to figure out what's the best story for Black Knight. Uh, uh, Bob Harris leather jacket years the best goddamn story for Black Knight. Dane was the fucking man. Gross. <laughs> so that's the guy that likes Maggot. <laughs> Maggot is gross and awesome. His, his mutant power is his intestines, which are just... Bugs. I can't wait for a Dark Hawk movie, like a trilogy, so Jess is like forced to get all his omnis. That won't be happening. He is. I think the new Pharaoh just read the main Dark Hawk omni and hated it. I got uh, a feeling that Dark Hawk will cameo in a movie. Not yeah, another he's up he's up in the cosmic stuff now. <laughs> he's tied into that. The fraternity of what are they? Raptors? Raptors. Yeah. He was yeah. a lot cooler when he What's was like, fighting Venom and hanging out with Spider-Man here on Earth. Wait till we get that crazy church religious group in the movies or whatever it is that's out in space, the cosmic stuff. I don't remember. Cosmic that's what the whole, like, that's that's what the whole thing stuff. was about the the church of the ever after or whatever it was that um, oh, Warlock yeah, yeah, yeah. had yeah. in yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, what what book was that? Annihilation. The middle uh, War of what? It was in War of Prelude. Kings. Prelude to the War of the Kings. War of Kings. Yeah, it's the book that broke me. I can't believe you didn't make it, man. Uh, I love that saga. It happened. Even it's if not I, for it's not for everybody. I I get it. I'll say. I mean, I've talked about it before. That Annihilation Omnibus is pretty worthless. Besides the actual Annihilation storyline, everything else is just filler. <sighs> like, I, don't I don't know. I don't, I don't care about Super Scroll showing up or, you know. Oh, Miller. you mean the lead in series? Yeah, the lead in stuff is whack. I like that. So I like the Silver Surfer and I like the Super Scroll. I thought they were pretty good. But Nova was the shit. That you was, get, was awesome. You get, the, you get Drax. That's, that was like the reboot of Jack. Oh, Jack. Sorry. I'm not a Mortal Kombat character. I'm talking about Drax. That was the reboot of Drax with the little girl. Mm hmm. Plus, it had the connecting covers from, I'm going to say, Del Oro? Yeah. Yep. Oh, I love that. I love those four covers. <laughs> it was uh, Surfer. It was Surfer, right? Surfer, mm -hmm. Ronan, Super Scroll, and Drax. 
or Nova. I don't know. Nova. No, Nova. Dra- Nova, Drax, Drax was like pre annihilation, annihilation. Yeah. But it's in, included in the omnibus. Um, what else? Was that all our reads? What'd you read, Gabe? No, you did that. No, we have covered it. We're ready for previews now and get out, get off this cosmic saga bullshit. I love how just like I read this is junk. Uh, anybody in the group want to buy it for dirt cheap? Yeah, and I sold it for dirt cheap. Yeah. Too bad you didn't read it earlier when you could get them from like crazy prices. That's cool. <laughs> So you you're a firm believer that the DC Cosmic Universe was superior to the Marvel Cosmic Saga. I don't see anywhere ever that I said that. Nor do, do you. I, st- do you still have your Green Lantern and Blackest Night? Of course. Then your shelf speaks for you. You didn't sell them after reading them. Fuck no, I never would. There you go. Then they are <laughs> in your eyes. They are superior. I understand them better. Yeah. Yeah, but you also like leading the superheroes. So. <laughs> Everybody's got a do. witness. Who's going to share their screen? Gabe? Okay, yeah. and I know how to do it this week. He's going to appear below the mm-hmm. extra screen. There it is. Yay. Hey, go full screen on that. Damn, I'm I man. know what I'm doing. I taught you. Wow. Okay, that's the last time I try to (laughs) put it. (laughs) Whose whose computer are we on? This is mine. Hit a. Oh shit! Is it a Mac? I can't tell. Hit F11. I don't have an F11. Oh fuck (laughs) me. (laughs) Where's the F? I don't have an F. But no, 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 you don't have to do. What are you doing? Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. All right. yeah. What's, what's F eleven do? It goes in a full screen. Yeah. Gets rid of his uh, horrible background. There the oh, 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 I see what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> the horrible background. No, way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just make this. I'm gonna minimize this so you can all see my background. <laughs> yeah, I like Joe Matt. Just that story was shit. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> nice. You got Maggot. You got Joseph. You got the best Psylocke, which you had the, uh, the, uh, the uh, what is it called? The Dawn. Crimson Dawn. Yeah. There you go. Good stuff. All right. So let's go ahead and get this started. All right, everybody. So here is this mm-hmm. week's releases. This will be up on InStockTrades.com tomorrow, 12 noon Pacific time. 3 p.m. Eastern time. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get this started. So with Image Comics, we have Skyward Trade Paperback Volume 3. Yes. Yes. I know not everybody feels the same, but I love that story. Me too. All right. One thing we can agree on. (laughs) That's right. Uh, Dark Horse, we got Art of Bravest Warriors. We got Girl in the Bay Trade Paperback. And Vampire Hunter D, Volume Twenty Eight. What the fuck? Wow. <laughs> those, those those are novels. Like wow. no picture not comics. Novels? The Vampire Hunter D. Those no, are really... novels. Those are not. Those yeah. are not uh, uh, comics. And I remember yeah, my they... wife really digging like the translations. Like whoever did the translations was awesome. Like uh, what's his name? Yoshitaka Amano mm-hmm. did a lot of the internal. Like chapter artwork, but that's it. It's, those are those are actual novels. Are they I, novels or light novels? I don't know the difference. What, what's light novels what, are easy? They're they're so, easier to read and have illustrations inside. Minimal illustrations. Uh, novels. Okay. I think cool. Vampire Hunter D was the first anime I I saw. I found it on TV when I was like a little little kid. And it freaked the living hell out of me. That guy had a hand with a mouth on it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If, I hand, if I had a hand on my, if I had a, uh, a mouth on my hand, it'd be I'd never leave the house. <laughs> Demonetized. 
All right, IDW, we got G.I. Joe, Real American <laughs> Hero, uh, Sierra Madre. The art, this is really trippy. Uh, this is uh, Michelle Fife. Yeah, Michelle Fife. The art on this is really cool. I don't know about the story or anything like that, but I was looking through it when they were coming out. You say Sierra Madre? Sierra yeah. Muerte. There's a difference, right? Sierra Whatever. Muerte. You fake Latino. That's on fine with <laughs> I don't mow anybody's yards, and I got good credit. And then we got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Rise, uh, Volume 2, Big Reveal. Uh, DC Comics, we got some 50% off here that we'll, we'll stop yep. on and talk about real quick. First off is Batman Who Laughs hardcover. That is 50% off. That's 50% off. Yeah, off. That's from my buddies, uh, Scott Snyder and Jock. They're not really my buddy, but I've hung out with them before. Uh, this is a... Uh, this is a standalone story, so you guys can anybody who's interested, you can pick this up and not really have to worry about anything mm -hmm. before or after, unless you really want to dive deep. Then maybe you want to, you know, check out Dark Knight's Metal. But this is a complete. Uh, I'm still waiting on that omnibus, Gabe. I have nothing to do with that. You made me a promise last year. I think that was me. You made me a promise last year. <laughs> Scott <laughs> Snyder made me a promise last year. What, were you guys drinking? Were you in a bathtub? When did this happen? <laughs> <laughs> it was before or after, you know? Because <laughs> I make a lot of false promises. <laughs> but yeah, so this is uh, Batman Who Laughs One Through Seven and then the uh, the Grim Knight number one. And then this will lead directly into the new Batman Superman uh, series. So nice. Check that out. And actually, I wonder, do they have? Are they going to have all the variant covers in here? I wonder, because Torpedo Comics did a variant cover, and I designed it. So I wonder if that's in here. Oh right, I forgot about that. They, you designed it. it. I designed it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, it was my idea. It was my, you know, I described it to Tony Daniels and how we wanted it. Wanted it well, to you look. stood over Tony Daniels and you were like, "Draw this." No, I, I sent an email that said, "This is oh, if gotcha. if we did something like this and like this." Because I know if me and Jess. We're in charge of like telling somebody how to draw the cover. Like, like you make her boobs, boobs bigger, yeah. <laughs> bigger. <laughs> no, I don't think you understand. Bigger. Keep going. Is this fast enough? <laughs> no, bigger. Enhance. <laughs> oh, we need going. this to be a three D cover. <laughs> uh, can we make this braille so we can have some kind of texture to it? <laughs> All right, and then uh, Harley and Ivy meet Betty and Veronica. It's a crossover nobody wanted. Whoa, wait a yes. second. That was yeah. fun. I got the hardcover yeah. of that. It was totally fun. Uh, of course. Uh, <laughs> speaking of Harley Quinn, we have her uh, uh, DC Inc. graphic novel, mm -hmm. Breaking Glass, which is going to be half off, right, Jess? 50% off. Yes, nice. sir. Did that uh, have a hardcover or did it just get released? As a I, think I think it just got released. This DC Inc., I think, is the young adult title. Ooh, yeah. I'll have to get that for my little girl. Yeah. This is like the third one they've done so far, right? They did Catwoman and they did uh, Raven. Yeah. Mira. They did Mira as well, didn't they? Mm hmm yeah. And then we have Injustice 2, Trade Paperback Volume 5, uh, Orion by Walt Simonson. That was a great, that was a great book. Uh, that's Volume 2. Powers Volume 6. Holy crap. Uh, so yeah, so when Benis went over to DC, he also brought over his uh, his powers book. They've been reprinting those things like crazy. Uh, Superman of Smallville is fifty percent off. And then, it, uh, oh, what's up, Jess? Uh, just real quick to Benjamin, uh, the Harley book is Tamaki. Mariko Tamaki writes it. And then we have Tales of Batman by uh, Jerry Conway, hardcover, volume three. These uh, these creator books are usually pretty cool. I like this kind of stuff. And I think for like the fifth week in a row, we have a watch <laughs> trade paper. Uh, watch watch <laughs> yeah, man. What is that? It's about people with watches. It's based on the HBO TV series they're coming out with. Oh, cool. Uh, based on a Christopher Nolan uh, movie called The Following. Hmm. Oh. Okay. That's an old one. It is. Yeah. Uh, then we have down here in Marvel, we got some more Age of X Men trade paperbacks with Amazing Nightcrawler and Extremist. Yeah, I like that one. That one was good. It's, uh, what's her name? Uh, Leah Williams? Williams. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's good. And then we have Captain Marvel Volume 1 re-entry. That is 50% off. Ooh, Kelly Thompson. Yeah. Yeah, but that Amanda Connor cover just does nothing for me. Well, I'll say this: I the, the uh, Captain Marvel figure in the, in the forefront here. I'm pointing at it like anybody can see what I'm doing. Uh, you can see your mouse. <laughs> but I do like the background image. It's almost kind of like a propaganda poster. That I like. Yeah. yeah, I just don't like the the main. And it's all of our different versions. Like you get binary here and everything. That's great. I like that it's by Kelly Thompson. That's a pickup for me. And that's also fifty percent off. Yep. Did we say that already? I said that, but it doesn't hurt to say it again. And here's a great one, just coincidentally. Uh, Fantastic Four Complete Collection Volume 2. This is the Jonathan Hickman stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, is this... How many How many complete collections are there going to be? Is there going to be a third one? I yeah. Think it's okay. three. yeah. Because you got the first five issues of FF, FF. here, Future yeah. Foundation. And then it, yeah, it's, mm-hmm. it's 588 at the end of the FF stuff on here, or the Fantastic Four stuff. So, if anybody doesn't have the omnibus for John the Hickman, the one I showed earlier today, these complete collections are a perfectly suitable substitute for sure. Because we don't know if or when those books are going to get reprinted. So, if you're dire need to read that story, which I think you, you should be if you haven't, I would, I would suggest heavily to pick up these uh, complete collections. Uh, Marvel monograph art of Adi Granoff. That'd be pretty cool. That guy's art is great. Uh, he's a super nice guy. Uh, I just I'm wish he surprised. could carry a monthly comic. You know, like what? It, I, it took I, him like a year to do those six issues of Iron Man with uh, what's his name, Warren Ellis. Oh, the extremist. That might have been a Warren Ellis issue, maybe. Who knows? No, it was him. Because then they were like, okay, no more internal work for you. Go draw some Nova covers. Yeah, it's like, hey, you want to make m- way more money by just doing covers? Here, go for it. Yeah, no kidding. Same with Scotty Young. Uh, all right, and then we have uh, John Basema Visionaries trade paperback, uh, Marvel's postcard uh, hardcover book, whatever that is, and Star Wars Vader Dark Visions trade paperback. That is also 50% off. That is the last of the 50% off books this week from InStockTrades.com. Damn it, Jess. We we have five viewers left. (laughs) I mean, there could be more. I love that cover. Darth Vader on a fucking horse with a shield and a lightsaber sword. I don't care what the hell is happening in there. That's awesome. Two-headed crows. Oh, yeah. That's creepy. Oh, yeah. Uh, could I, I, think, I think there's a, an issue in here. I think it's... Oh, issue it? three. three. Is that the one, one with the... Uh, <laughs> the one that got all the controversy? Yeah, the dark yeah. fangirl. Yeah. That was a good story, though. I don't know if anybody read it or just everybody just kind of just went off the uh, internet hype. No, I read it. That was a great book. That was a really good... You read it because one. your daughter was uh, talking about it, right? Yeah. I remember that. Yeah, now I can read it and have her read it in context so she can see what it's really all about. You didn't just give her the issue? Yeah, here, here's what it's about. No, I explained what was going on and she. Did you mansplain it, though? You got to mansplain <laughs> it here. I did not. I, I, I dad explained <laughs> it. Dad splats even worse. <laughs> Uh, here's one I've been looking forward to for a while is the uh, Thor Epic Collection, the uh, Black Galaxy, the Tom DeFalco, Ron Mars. This is a this is a great great storyline here. Was this collect four nineteen through four thirty six in annual fifteen? It's a uh, it's a very underrated run of Thor. It's fucking phenomenal. The the, the Falco uh, Ron Friend stuff is just the Falco doesn't get a lot of love usually because he followed up Walter Simons. <laughs> So, both in this and in FF, because this run in FF was solid too. Yeah. Well, he wasn't even he didn't even want to uh, write Thor. He was trying to do Daredevil and end up just falling into this. I think. But his stuff is great. I would love to get him in the store one day. Uh, Wolverine uh, and the Infinity Watch. Uh, I I avoid this like the play. This is just that is if you're looking for answers as to how Wolverine came back. 
you can pass up on this book because there are no answers. <laughs> I can yeah. guarantee you that. I'm just offended by the whole Wolverine and the Infinity Watch thing. Go away. I love that cover. Oh, it's God. so stupid. It works. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then uh, X Men Milestones Inferno. Yep. What? Why are the? Why did they change color though? Now they're blue. <laughs> they yeah. Some of them are gold and then some are blue. I guess blue and gold. Oh okay. But that's not the blue team. <laughs> You're right. I think it's just whatever. All right. Dynamite has uh, Barbarella, Deja Thoris. Uh, Are you into cover. that? You into that, Jess? Nope. Uh, what is he highlighted? Let's see. Let's view the cover. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Leo, that looks like a good story. And it's by Leah Williams. Yeah. Oh, I like Leah Williams. Leah Williams. Uh -huh. Is that a yeah, Stan? I like Leah Williams too. Is that? It looks like a Stan Tucci cover. Guy that did uh, she. Y'all remember that comic? I know Gabe yeah. does. I know what you're talking about. No, it's it's Laura Barga. It says right here. Oh, the cover art. Oh, you're right. I don't know. It's all right here, autograph or has her name on it too. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Boom Studios. We got Avant Guards. Why does it sound familiar? Did you read that, Jess? Was that something you talked about before? Uh, no, I'm not familiar with it. Uh, Clyde Barker's Next Testament on the bus. Grease Bats. Jim Henson's uh, Beneath Beneath the Dark Crystal hardcover volume two. That looks really cool. Oh, does it? I like I that artwork. Movies. Nice. You know, I might just watch The Labyrinth tonight. It sounds like a fun idea. Uh, and then down here is uh, Omar and Geo section. So I you know wish we had it. stock in this stuff. <laughs> oh, uh, Topi. They have a, another Topi collection? The abandoned. For the fall. Yeah. That Attack on Titan is a prequel book if anybody's wondering uh abandoned sacred beast that's pretty fun um uh, it's about giant monsters in uh and uh, civil war-esque us uh i don't know dr who sorry watch you guys gonna make me read that berserker and you guys gonna be the reason i get hooked on manga and i end up reading all this stuff watch yeah Yes. yes. <laughs> I like uh, that dude's artwork right there. That's how you introduce somebody to speed. <laughs> Black Torch, that's the final volume, if anybody's wondering. I think it introduced people to speed. Did anybody watch that amazing Jonathan documentary yet? I did. I haven't. It's pretty interesting. Oh, that was weird. That, that was uh, the weirdest documentary that I've ever seen take just like the craziest left turn in the middle of it. What about this fourth generation? Uh, somebody's been asking about that. Is that a humanoids book? No, this is manga. Oh, <laughs> so, I was thinking of something else off. then. Yeah, no, no, that's, uh, that's, that's right up Gabe's alley. That's why he clicked on it. This is pretty sick. That oh dear, I think you've got that manga. tattoo, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I do. No, no a, I thought it was the couch. Yeah, tattooed on my brain. So I don't want to see until my autopsy. There was a fourth something that's come out. From humanoids that somebody in the chat was asking about a couple weeks ago. Oh, maybe it's this next one that says the fourth power. Is that a humanoids book? Yep. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's okay. Humanoid. That's what somebody's been asking about. You can tell. Yeah, that's yeah, a, that's, that's a humanoid. That's one hundred percent a humanoids cover. Hey, Full Metal Alchemist. That's a classic. Golden Kamui. Uh, Hardcover edition. Mm-hmm. Golden Kamui. Is I pretty see. Good I see Arthur Adams. I, I was looking like at that too, dude. I was like, "That's Arthur yep. Adams." I know for sure. The heck is that? <laughs> no idea. Idolized. By Aspen, Aspen comics. Aspen. That's what? Michael Turner's uh, studio, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Jess, got any idea what this is? Never heard of it. <laughs> I like it. Oh, there's Heathen. I like that book. Heathen. Volume 2. Oh, yeah. 
Here's George's Bizarre Adventure. Some Katie Keene for you too, Jess. Thank you. Jojo Volume 2 of Part 4, I think. Uh, yep, that's what micro it is. Academia down here. You guys talk about that all the time. My Hero Academia, that's great. Comey Can't Communicate, I've heard wonderful things about that. I really want to read that book. Holy shit, Magi's 37 volumes? Oh <laughs> yeah. my god. <laughs> Bubble Suit Gun and Thunderbolt is excellent. Um, that My Hero Academia smash isn't as great, I keep hearing. Uh, Ramona, Percy oh, Jack. One Piece. One Piece 91. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> See, that's why I'm like, man, if I, I'm going to be weird to try and read any of that. I'm going to get it done. But, man, I got to read 91 volumes of this book. Oh, but, but you don't so have good. to. You don't have to, but they're so good, man. One Punch Man, that's, so a, that's also pretty good. Um, Promise, Promise Neverland. Neverland. Is that yep. still good? Ren and... I, I've only, I only know up to where the anime ended. So I don't know. Hmm. What about uh, this Rapunzel versus Frankenstein? Rapunzel versus Frankenstein. I don't think that's a manga, but the one right next to it is Reborn. What is that called? Reborn as a polar bear. Oh, legend. We got to play fake manga, <laughs> real <laughs> manga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Reborn as a pan as a polar bear. I told you, been 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 like, yeah, that's a real manga. <laughs> record of Kank Grant Crest War. I assume that's set in the Record of Lotus War universe, Geo. I think it's a different thing. I might be mistaken, but apparently it's like the next Game of Thrones thing. I don't know. Hmm. Star Wars Lost Stars. I, I hear that manga adaptation is pretty good. Oh, Orosei Yatsura, Volume 3. I'll be getting that. Oh, shit. I need to pick up Volume 2. Witch Hat Atelier is fantastic. The art, artwork on that is like Ghibli-esque. It's really good. Yeah, I like the art. But it's pretty cool looking. I like the art. It's more family friendly. Uh, it's a family friendly book about sorcery and stuff. But As opposed to most yeah. manga that's not family friendly. <laughs> I mean, you know, the, the audience of this of our show isn't well accustomed to manga, and manga can be a little bit out there sometimes. Yo, Amushi Petal. That's uh, cycling anime uh, manga. Recycling for everybody, like sports cycling, not recycling, like guys scrapping. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that is that. So that's it. That's it. All right, chat. Let us know what you're picking up this week. What looks good to you? I, I'm going to be getting. Let me look back again. I know I'm, I'm, I want that Thor epic collection. Uh. That might be it for me this week, really. That Thor, uh, uh Ratchy Men, I, I might pick that up. Batman Who Laughs is that oversized? I don't even know. I think it's standard because that's what they're doing now. Yeah, I can look it up. By the way, I love the sound of that keyboard. It, it's like I'm in a Someone's professional setting. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's supposed to be a quiet keyboard. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. No, I think that's standard. It's nine nine inches high. Oh yeah, I think that's a standard. No, isn't standard seven and a half inches? Don't know. Right. I thought twelve was like oversized. Oh, there's different sizes. Oh shit. <laughs> I remember asking Jess, and he was wrong. Oh, fine, no. <laughs> Don't ask Jess. <laughs> compare, <laughs> compare the size to oh, yeah. the uh, <laughs> Aquaman book, and you'll know. Because this is standard size. So if, if it's oh, the same bless, size as this. God bless what was you. the name of the Aquaman book, Geo? Uh, on Spoken Water. I'm going to confuse Gabe. Shirts off, Aquaman. Hell yeah. It's a sexy beast. Okay, so the Aquaman's 7.4. So I think maybe the uh, Batman Who Laughs is oversized. Uh, 
At least they're doing like covers oh. under this. I didn't realize that about Aquaman. It was originally solicited as a soft cover and they upgraded it to a hard cover. Mm -hmm. Sledge, I don't see Lucky Luke on IST's list that they send us. I don't think they'll be carrying it. What is it? What is it? Is that a French comic? Right? Oh, okay. Lucky Luke, the cowboy. I'm excited for it because I want, I want to get it. I was hoping they'd pick it up. But... Oof, I have no idea what that is. Me either. It's. Uh... <laughs> It's popular everywhere else except America. Or, I mean, there are people here that know about it. Those uh, people that read smart comic books, we're, we get a newsletter every month. and Oh, like uh, like, 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 like the Trial of Trump. Gambit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, we uh, read dumb comics. Uncle Man. Mm -hmm. Am I the only one that smells their books? Am no. I, am I weird? Maddie does the same thing. Because this is... So good. <laughs> it smells good? Yeah. Yeah, it does. I'm weird. Deal with it. So what's up? You guys want to do Q&A real quick or what, what's, what's going on? Let's uh, like take like five questions. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Smell that book, son. I can't wait to sell Jess some used books. So he sits there and smell it. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, <laughs> fucker! I back the books you stole from me last time you were here. I didn't steal. I borrowed them, and I plan on giving them back as long as you PayPal me. <laughs> a return fee. That's a hostage situation. <laughs> That's how I borrow my neighbor's tools. I, s I sell it back to him at my yard sales. Nice. And they're like, I, I think I've seen this before. Yeah, I oh, yeah, I really I need a monkey wrench. I wonder where my other monkey wrench is. <laughs> has my initials on it. I'm going to buy it because I like the, the initials on it. Uh, I don't know that Gabe knows this, but to the panel, is there going to be a reprint of Joe Kelly Deadpool Omnibus? I don't know that Deadpool. Uh, Deadpool. I don't know that any of us know that for sure. It's always a possibility, but I don't know. We don't know for sure. That's one of my favorite books I have in my collection. Wow, this is awesome. Check this out. What is it? <laughs> the uh, Pantera <laughs> uh, homage. <laughs> Wait, hold it up. Is, is that it? a Murder Falcon? Yeah, yeah. It's an homage to the Pantera CD. <laughs> it says oh, Alter cool. Display of Metal. <laughs> Who wrote and, that? Uh, Daniel, Daniel Warren Johnson. Johnson. And he did one for uh, Rust in Peace from Megadeth. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I got to get on reading those books for our review. It's a couple more. Is there any more? There's probably one more I'm missing. Hold on. Oh, yeah, there's a ton more. Look at that. Iron Maiden and Judas Priest. That's awesome. Look at you dropping the metal knowledge. Ah, that's one of my many hidden talents. Did you ever read? Yeah, that's Murder Falcon. Gio, bastard! No, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't read it. I know you about it, but I haven't. You read would it. love it because every it's like not that the, like every castle, every magical spell is a heavy metal band from the '80s in America. <laughs> like it's amazing nice. like uh the dude's the main character's name is d schneider or like dark schneider awesome. yeah oh it's so cool man i love that shit here's a question for gabe is yeah, so Pure comics doing anything special on september 7th diamond previews announced it would be day of dread not likely we don't really do like Batman Day or like Halloween Fest or really even Free Comic Book Day. Too, we don't go too crazy on Free Comic Book Day either. Like they, they did the same thing with uh, Hellboy. They had like a Hellboy Day, but all it was is like, here's a poster and here's a pin. And I still have that poster for Geo. I need to send that to him. I Ooh, yay. I totally forgot about that. Awesome. Yeah. Honestly, I got a bunch of shit I was supposed to send out to you that I still have. Yeah, but that was when I think that was 
immediately after the the hurricane and stuff because I remember you helped me get the Frank Cho stuff, but um, yeah. I never bothered you <laughs> to ship it out or anything. I didn't. I know you're super busy. <laughs> no, I still have. I got to do that shit. Fuck. Yeah, I'm the worst friend ever. You're the best friend ever. Ugh. What else we got for questions, Jess? Anybody want, want, wants us to ask what's being reprinted that we don't know about? Ask us anything, chat. Well, you have us here. Don't wait until we're leaving to ask questions. Don't mind Is me. Is anybody watching uh, the, 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 the third season of 13 Reasons Why? Has anybody started that? I don't like the premise. I never watched season one. I don't like the premise. I don't think it's something I would like. Will there ever be a Powers Omnibus Volume 2? Nope. I know. I <laughs> think I'm going to have to get the try and track down the hardcovers for the rest of it. Yeah, I have the first three, the first three, three or four hardcovers, and that's all I need, really. I think that's that's about my favorite part of Powers. I love, I absolutely 1000% love Powers. Honestly, Powers is my password to almost everything I have. I love that book a lot. Um, but after the first real volume was over, which I think is like well, after issue 36 or something like that, it, it kind of fell off for me. But that first volume of, of like the first omnibus stuff is, is, is great. You get uh, Who Killed Retro Girl. You get the story about those college kids uh, trying to be superheroes and getting themselves killed. You get, uh, God... The uh, the monkey sex is always a great issue. You get the uh, the girl who had sex with uh, I, I forgot the character's name, but killed him during sex on accident. A lot of good stuff in there. Lots and lots of good stuff in there. Okay, here's a good question. But no, wait, uh, let me explain real quick. Uh, the reason there's not going to be a Powers Omnibus Volume Two is because Bendis took it to DC. So unless DC does the Powers Volume 1 mm. and, and, and at Volume 2, you won't see yeah. a volume. You had to do a Volume 1 first. Makes sense. Oh. Was it, it was under the Icon label, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Omar, how do you feel about the new Star Wars trailer? I mean, was it really a trailer? I know it's a trailer. To, I'm not done. Uh, I'm, like, I'm, I'm excited for it. Did they, did they, I mean, I, I don't watch that crap, but I, I know what in the it trailers or the movies. Yes, <laughs> but it's all over like everything to do in social media about the whole Ray thing. And I'm like, man, did they really have to like show that? So, like, that's kind of like a big spoiler, I would think, or a big moment that didn't have to be revealed. I don't know. Maybe uh, I mean, it got me more fired up for the movie. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm excited for it. Well, like I told you guys in the chat, I'm pumped for that Mandalorian scene. That thing looks awesome as hell. Jesus. It straight up looks like a movie. It's eight episodes, but Jesus, the production quality on it is insane yeah. looking. And it's, it's weekly too, so we'll be able to like, mm -hmm. yeah, it's we it's it's going to be released weekly. It's not all at once, so we'll be able to talk about it weekly. Good. To make. I'm yeah. glad that they're doing that. That's the way the DC app did their shows too. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling I know the answer to this question. Just do you or the guys have faith in Bendis to make a good Legion series? <laughs> I do. I one hundred percent. I do. Yeah. Okay. I like I like almost everything Bendis has done, and he has done things that people would not expect to be good that ended up being really good. Like that guy can really do. He's very versatile. He's very very versatile, and from my experience with him, and Omar's probably going to shit on me about it, but anything <laughs> not he's literally. Oh. <laughs> he's yeah, too far away. Right. I'm going to be no glass bottom boat over here. Um, but whenever he throws himself into something, it ends up being excellent. And I haven't read a lot of his, uh, his Superman stuff, but from what I have read and the things I've, I've heard about it, it sounds like it's really good also. So I do have faith in him doing the Legion of Superheroes. And uh, just so that Omar can crap on me, I like this X-Men stuff a lot. What about you, Jess? Faith? You have faith in everything. Um, I don't have faith in this one. Ooh. I have faith. So you are you are at odds. What puts you at odds? What? How come no faith? Because he's a superhero is junk. <laughs> <laughs> what if he brings back Pharaoh Lad? <laughs> this could be your uh, moment. Yeah. 
Wow. That was an unforeseen twist. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I like, I think I like his individuals, his, his stories about individuals more than I like his team books. I'm, I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. So if he opens up with Princess Projectra uh, being fooled that she actually doesn't have kids and destroys all the uh, Legionnaires to start over with a new batch of Legionnaires, I'm going to be pissed. No more Legion. I, 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 <laughs> I think... Uh, I think Bendis does a good job introducing new readers to comic books. Like, had I never read an issue of Avengers, had I never read an issue of X-Men, I think I would have really enjoyed his run on new maybe Avengers. not so much Uncanny, but definitely all new X-Men and new Avengers. Totally, right? I mean, what, what is there not to like Avengers? This is about Avengers Disassemble. Killing off a bunch of characters I didn't give a shit about? Sure. I'm in. But the fact that I had read them and I like Kurt Busiek's run made me attach to some of these characters. Had I not read his run on uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Gleason and uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Superman. Uh, Tomasi? Tomasi's Tomasi? run? Yeah. yeah. I would have been all over Bendis's. But within like the span of three months, like he did away with all the stuff that those guys built. Aww. And I, I, I don't I mean, Guardians of the Galaxy was the same issue. Took DNA to build. I know how Jess feels about it, so he yeah. might enjoy Bendis's run on uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm -hmm. But you know, it took the guys five years to put all that together, not by themselves, but you know. And I then agree. within two issues, Bendis destroyed everything. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean like, I mean, destroy the team, and then just I don't know. But that's the way I feel about him. It's all subjective, you know. I, I get why people really enjoy his stuff. Um, his Daredevil was pretty good though, and it and it. Yeah, <laughs> I think the reason I liked his Daredevil more than his other stuff is because it didn't really harken back to a lot of things. Like it didn't go back and talk about much about the Frank Miller run or the things that came right before it. He kind of did his own thing, and even though I hated his take on Typhoid Mary, but that's a whole other story. Uh, but maybe, and then you know. He also used characters that hadn't been seen for a while, which is what he likes to do a lot of the times, or create his own characters. So. Uh, Here's a good question. I like this Young Justice. Have you all read that? That sounds pretty good, yeah. yeah uh, is Ultimate, Ultimate Spider-Man some of the best Spider-Man that I've ever really read? Yeah, Ultimate Spider-Man was fun, but his Young Justice run in, in DC is pretty good. It's pretty fun. Do you guys think Marvel will collect the Dark Horse Conan mini series and one shots in later epic collections, or should I get the smaller trades? That is a really good question. Oh, I don't think Marvel can reprint another company's books, right? They have been. Remember, that's what those epic collections are. That like, is? Yeah, they've it. been going through, and those are the collections that are coming out in chronological order too. <laughs> See, I, I don't know because they're doing something different with the X-Men too. We're having like the milestone. That's why we have the X-Men milestone Inferno where I think the Epic is just going to collect the main run. Those Inferno uh, milestone books are going to collect everything else. So I don't know how they're going to do that. That is a good question. I stand corrected. I would, I would hope so, but the fact that they're selling trade paperbacks individually probably means not likely. I would say just I, I always just say just pick up what's available right now if you really want to read that story of okay. anything. Mm -hmm. When they come out with a better version or a, be, uh, a upgraded version you like more, then you could sell the one that you have already. Yep. Yeah. This is probably a good time for me to mention our sponsor, which is in stocktrades.com, where. You can get your collected editions up to 50% off. Loyalty discounts add another 2% to that. Every quarter, there's an Omnibros Live discount code. Uh, let's see. If you are smart enough to order $50 or more worth of books and you live in the United States, you get free shipping. 
which is amazing. You get fabulous customer service at IST and fabulous packaging. That's in socktrades.com. <laughs> awesome. Up oh, here's a good question because I don't know anything about it. Yes. Yes. Well, that's me. You don't know anything about the Power family, Jess? <laughs> Power Pack? I have absolutely. You've read no uh, idea. they're in Jonathan Hickman's uh, Fantastic Four. That's all I've read about them, then. Yeah. yeah, hard pass on that omnibus for me. It's got uh, Louis Simonson and uh, what's his name? I never know how to pronounce the dude's name. John Bogdanova. John Bon Jovi. Bogdanov? What? Bogdanov. Yeah, that guy. It's got some of his early artwork. Uh, has a few crossovers with the X Men and X Factor and plays uh, into the Mutant Massacre. I, I love that stuff as a kid. I was a big fan of the Power Pack. So uh, that's that's one for me. I'm so this has your fingerprints all over it. No, my fingerprints are all over New Warriors Omnibus Volume 2 if that ever comes <laughs> out. <laughs> that's the one that I always hint strongly at. I can't believe we get a Power Pack on the bus before we're getting like a Peter David X Factor. Uh, I would say Thunderbolts. Or Thunderbolts. Yeah. It's just, uh, you know, unfinished or runs and classic Gambit. editions. You know, every bit of X Men is one day going to be collected in an oversized hardcover or an omnibus. And it will look so wonderful on your shelf when, I guess, I don't know, when I'm 60 something and Jess had been dead for like 30 something years and it will finally be on our shelves. <laughs> Look, he's doing the math right now. <laughs> that got dark. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's an optimistic way of looking at it. For you. Yeah, I'll be finally able to read it. No, Jess, you're going to be around forever, just like those stupid-ass Golden Age omnibuses from D.C. <laughs> Oops, that's not what I meant. Thank okay. you. That was also the other artist on Power Pack. Ooh, we're still talking about Power Pack. Okay, I'll try and uh, dig it out. I actually do have a tux. Just for you bought a tux just for the Omnis? No, I've had a tux for years. I finally fit back in it. I can't wait for the Omnis so I can finally participate. We didn't have one last year. Last no, year was a disaster. I'm sorry. Was it? What happened? What happened? Nobody could make it. It was just you, uh, Jess, and uh, 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 Louis. Wait a minute. And, and you were reading uh, Riley's handwriting. Oh, and yeah. Was, <laughs> I was couldn't make out his handwriting. It was yeah. all scribble. <laughs> yeah. Really like a doctor's note? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> We had to make up stuff because I couldn't read his name, his writing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Shahazarad. Okay, I think that wraps it up for this night's Omnibus Live. Chio, where can they find you? If they want to find out about geeks and weekdoms. That's very true. But before I do that, let me remind everybody that Thursday we're going to do Otaku Bros. And we're going to be doing a giveaway for the $50 gift card thingamajig from oh, ISG. That's right. The $50 gift card sponsored mm -hmm. by InStockTrades.com will be this Thursday on the Manga Bros. show. Yes. So, with that said, you can find me at A Week in Geekdom here on YouTube, where I talk about anime, comics, movies, and everything else in between. That's A Week in Geekdom. Extreme Gabe, where can they find you? you you're mm -hmm. getting lower and lower on the screen. Are you getting ready to slide <laughs> out of your seat? I'm getting ready to get into another NyQuil coma pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> Look He's at that. He's got the bottle with him. <laughs> Look at that. I just bought this last night. I just chug it. Ugh. I just chug it. You know, I might as well just do it right now on the show. Uh, nice. Uh -oh. oh, boy. 
Oh, and you're girl. Right. I'll see you guys on the other side. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, you can find me. Uh, I don't even know anymore. This is already hitting me. Uh, Instagram is Gabe Loves 90s Comics. You can find me on the uh, Facebook group as well, the Omni uh, Omnibus Collectors <laughs> Facebook group. And uh, if you're ever in Las Vegas, come by Torpedo Comics. Say what's up. Give me a hug. Nice. Give me a hug. <laughs> the untimely Omar. Where can they find you? One time, <laughs> really? <laughs> you can find me on my channel, Near Mint Condition. Now, what's happening tomorrow night on your show? Uh, we're having a live show, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Maddie and I are going to be talking about blankets. Craig Thompson's blankets. That's awesome, dude. I wish you I would have known ahead of time. I would have read it again. It's so good. Or if I would have paid attention to what you did. Probably I'm sure it. she'll end up crying a lot. Excellent. And you can find me, Omnidog, on Omnidog's Vault on YouTube and Omnidog's underscore Vault on Instagram. So thank you to InStockTrades.com. Thank you to the chat. Thank you to our viewers. You all are Here's great. Here's my book for everybody. I love this book. But there's this thank you to Craig Thompson and Blankets. And peace and love, peace and love. Please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. Leave a comment, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Awesome. Where's That's that page where he pees on the